टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सम एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एक्सपोनेंशियल ग्रोथ एंड डिके बाई यूजिंग द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन ओवर प्रीवियस वीडियो अबाउट द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन वट इज डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन वाई वी नीड डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन डिग्री एंड ऑर्डर ऑफ द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड अबाउट द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन द लेट ऑफ ओवर टू डे लेक्चर इज ऑब्जर्वेशन अबाउट द एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शन एक्सपोनेंशियल ग्रोथ एंड एक्सपोनेंशियल डिके एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ द एक्सपोनेंशियल ग्रोथ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी डिस्कस सम इम्पोर्टेंट फैक्ट्स रिलेटेड टू एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शंस वी कंसीडर अ स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ अ एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शन वाई इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ एक्स वेर वाई इज द फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स एक्स इज एन इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एंड वाई इज द डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल ओके we consider a function e raised to power x then we know that in the chapter of derivatives that the derivative of e raised to power x is e raised to power x itself okay it means we can write this relationship that dy by dx is equal to y by using this and this fact that dy by dx is equal to e raised to power x that is derivative of an exponential function is itself okay and e raised to power x is equal to y then we get this relationship dy over dx is equal to y okay this is called differential equation because it contains one or more derivatives of the function with respect to and the with respect to independent variable and its relation with the function as you can see from this equation here the function is the y y is the function of x and this is a derivative of y with respect to x basically this equation gives us a relationship between the derivative and the function that's why we call it a differential equation now we will study the implication of the above observation that dy by dx is equal to y this observation uh, we uh, since uh we apply these observations in different fields since we are going to discuss about exponential growth and decay and both growth and decay depend upon the time that's why now we considering time t as an independent variable okay that's why we consider a function y is a function of t that is equal to e raised to power t then its derivative d y by dt is equal to e raised to power t and again we get a relationship that d y over d t is equal to y right the independent variable is changed or replaced with the t where t is the time okay now we consider another exponential function where e raised to power k t where k is some constant okay y is again function of t but in exponents a constant is multiplied okay then we get its derivative value dy by dx that is this one dy by dx okay we use here chain rule first of all if we take this kt is equal to u okay then we get this equation y is equal to e raised to power u we need a derivative of y with respect to time but now our function is a function of u that's why we have to use chain rule and by using the chain rule we get this expression as dy over u du first of all take the derivative of this one term that is dy over du is equal to e raised to power u okay then we take the derivative of u du over dt with respect to t and by taking the derivative of u with respect to t we get 
uh, as uh, with respect to t we take here the derivative the derivative of t is 1 and k is some constant that's why we get the value k okay by multiplying these two terms we get that k into e raised to power k t and we know that e raised to power k t is equal to y hence we have a final conclusion that dy dy over dt is equal to k y okay it means if there is some exponent constant multiply with the variable t then we get a differential equation dy over dt is equal to ky where y is the original function and k is that constant appear in the exponent next one if we have negative constant multiply with the variable t then we get the differential equation dy over dt is equal to minus ky okay now suppose a constant is multiplied with the exponential function here we consider in the power multiply with variable a constant k and we also consider that a constant is multiplied with this exponential function and that is 5 okay then by simplifying the differential equation and rearranging we have as we know that the derivative rule that constant is here and we have to take the derivative of the exponential function okay that's why if we are going to take the derivative of the exponential function we get the value k into a raised to power kt as we see in the previous example okay by using the associative law we have that we can interchange the value of 5 and k and we know that we know that the 5 into e raised to power kt is equal to y then putting the value of this one we get that dy over dt is equal to ky okay the conclusion we reached is the all uh, in the previous steps did not depend on all the one constants indeed if we had started with the function of the form it means uh, as we see that in the previous video this constant not affect the result as this is again dy by uh, dt is equal to ky and if same here we get uh, minus ky or in this equation we can see that if the, the constant is not multiplied with the exponential function we get the same differential equation dy over dt is equal to ky okay and if constant is multiplied then again we get the same differential equation dy over dt is equal to ky it means this constant not affect the differential equation okay this result is generalized we can write c be either any constant then this constant not affect the differential equation now some comparison with the algebraic equations the solution of the algebraic equations like uh, quadratic equations or any other polynomials are the numbers but the solution of the differential equations are some function we have seen above that depending on the constant k as we see that depending on the constant k the value of the constant k vary either function with the positive exponent or the negative exponent and the time t which is a scalar quantity and this is also always positive value okay exponential decay and exponential growth now we are going to discuss about this exponential decay and exponential growth first of all if we consider a function where c is some general constant k is also some constant we uh, already see that its value depend upon the value of k if k is positive we have exponential growth function okay if k is positive and here is the graph of exponential growth function where every curve basically a different function belongs to a different functions where the value of k as increases okay this is increasing exponentially basically the, this is also increasing exponentially this is also increasing and uh, uh, these all are increasing with the increase in value of k okay and where k is positive 
next term is exponential decay when the k value is negative the value of k is negative the function is decay exponentially and these all are the different exponential decay functions graph curves these all are decreasing exponentially okay now we move towards the example example of exponential growth and limited population growth first of all the number of bacteria in a liquid culture is observed to grow at a rate proportional to the number of cell present okay at the start or at the beginning we have 10000 cells okay and after 3 hours time is 3 hours we get 5 lakh cells okay these are bacterial cells at the beginning 10000 and after 3 hours we have 5 lakh how many will be there after one day of growth w uh, the given growth is one day and one day is equal to 24 hours basically okay how many will be there after one day growth if this unlimited growth continue what is the doubling of the bacteria we have to calculate these two things first of all we consider t as a time in hours okay t is the time in hours and y of t is the number of cells at time t okay y we consider y as a function of t which gives us the number of cells at any time t okay now the starting number of the cells at the beginning of the experiment it means at t is equal to 0 we have y of 0 is equal to 10,000 okay and as we know that the growth rate is simplified by this expression dy over dt is equal to kt okay we know from the previous work that the differential equation has this solution okay we see that this differential equation has solution y of t is equal to y naught y naught is the initial value e raised to power kt we know the value of the y naught that is at t is equal to 0 so we directly put this value at t is equal to 0 what we have to do we have to put this value in this function then we get this expression we just put the value of y naught in this expression then after that as there is given given that when three hours passed we get this value five like okay we put in the function at the place of t three and y naught that is initial growth of the cells is ten thousand and by simplify this expression we get the value e raised to power 3k is equal to 50. now we are trying to solve this by using some tricks as we know that exponential function is the inverse of the logarithmic function okay these two functions are inverse of each other okay if we apply a log on both sides of this expression then we get as we know that the, about the property of the exponential function that the exponential and the logarithmic function are the inverse of each other then by simplifying this term we get 3k okay now we apply natural log on 50 then we get the value final value is 1.3 per hour okay this value is the value of k constant which is unknown we have done that value of k is 1.3 per hour so we put this in our function why not value we already know and now we get the value of k that is 1.3 okay our next objective is to find the value of c we continue this this expression the graph of the function shown up shown the units in the y is the corresponding to the multiply of thousands 
and because we would ha have remembered that the converting of the uh, basically uh, the time given is one day that is equal to 24 hours first of all we need to put this 24 then we get the value that is here this one we put t is equal to 24 hours as given time period is one day okay and after simplification we have this one 3.5 into 10 raised to power 17 which is our final value okay this is the solution or the required solution thanks for watching hopefully this video helps you to understand the concept of exponential growth and exponential decay for more details we will discuss in the class